Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and show you the review for the Celestron 127 SLT telescope. The 127 SLT is in the family of the SLT telescopes with 90, um, 102, 127, and 130 SLT telescopes, each with a different use. This one is more of a planetary telescope. The optics are pretty good, and I took this photo of Mars, but for wide field photography for deep sky objects, it might not be that good for it. But I guess, you, I guess you can still make it that work. It has an altazimuth mount, which means it only goes up and down and side to side, not like an equatorial mount which compensates for field rotation. So since I have an Nikon D3500, which is a DSLR, I have to manually turn the camera for it to uh, compensate for field rotation, or else your image, stacked images are just going to have like a star trip. It also comes with these instructions. Let's see if I can take these out. There's an instruction manual, there's like a hand control manual, and then they give you some like DVDs so you can put into your Mac or Windows, and some other pieces of paper. In addition, it also comes with two little eyepieces, here's a 25mm and a 9mm, and you can always get more of these if you want. Here is the Celestron 127 SLT, so here's the front, there's a dust cap, so it Perfects, per, uh, protects it from dust, and here's the little mirrors inside of it. It's a Maxitov Cassegrain design, and yeah, it's just a bunch of mirrors and lenses in there. Put this cap back on. C comes with a finder scope. Let's see right here, with a finder scope that you can uh, attach with a dovetail rail right there comes with a little, wait, let me focus this, hand control, comes with a little hand control, there it is, it connects to the, to the uh, little things here, there, and what it does, you can just control it, and then I've, uh, there's also an accessory tray right here, you can put the accessory tray there, and here's how you adjust the tripod legs with this little uh, screw there. And here's where you put the eyepieces in. That's what it looks like inside. Comes with a little dust cap. And then here's how you turn the finder scope on, and that's what it looks like in there. And yeah, here's all the little uh, details, little details in there. Yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, there's here's how you focus this little knob to focus the stars and move the mirrors in here up and down. There's, there's how you focus. And to uh, attach a telescope onto the mount, this computerized mount, there is a Vixen dovetail rail here, so you just, and then you tighten this thing in here, behind right here. When you tighten it, this thing tightens with it, and that's how you uh, tighten it. And here's for power, here's where you put the batteries in there. Right here. Uh, here's the uh, little battery compartment. Uh, you put eight AA batteries in there. Which I don't have right now because, uh, because it's a waste of money and it just drains all the power really fast. But what I have is a power cable that just plugs in right, uh, right here. It plugs in right here. When it plugs in, this part plugs in, and the power switch is right here there and that turns the scope on and off and that's uh basic here is how you put the eyepieces in so here's the nine millimeter let's open that there is dust caps for the eyepieces and you just unscrew these dumb screws unscrew these so that uh it stays in there and then you put it in 
screw back up and there's your eyepiece is in there. Also, this star diagonal comes separately, so you have to put these thumb screws, uh, you have to lock them in to put this in because this makes for a better viewing experience. comes with a nice little bubble level because every time you uh, uh, skyline it, you have to have it level or else it's just going to mess up. And one more thing is uh, to clean the optics, clean the optics right here. What I do is take out the lens, the dust cover, that gets the duster spray to just clean out the lens. That's what cleans it out. And if you want to attach a Nikon DSLR to it, you'd need to have a T-Rank and a 1.25 inch uh, T adapter and they uh, screw together to attach a camera to the telescope. So here is an image of Mars that I took and here is a Pleiades cluster. I zoomed it in and that's the moon right there. I took with my Celestial 127 SLT and that's just a random photo of a dark sky and I can see a galaxy. Thanks so much everyone for watching one of my videos. If you like this video, Please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.